Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Uh, you are looking at my my three-year-old daughter's uh, most favorite noodles, which is the yellow noodles here. Um, I must admit that the yellow noodles I managed to buy this round. I we bought it online this round due to MCO. Um, the quality is quite bad. Uh, when I was trying to rinse it over some water, uh, you can see all the noodles has broken into uh, very short yeah, pieces. So very bad quality. Anyway, still edible. Definitely, we don't want to waste any food. Uh, it, only thing is, uh, it won't look as good uh, on video later. Okay, so my apologies, but it's definitely still edible. Right, so uh, what am I going to use to uh, fry the noodles today? I'm going to use um, a bit of uh, pork slices. I marinated with a bit of Shaoxing wine and um, light soya sauce. If, of course, if you don't take alcohol, you don't have to put the Shaoxing wine. Yeah. So, uh, and then a little bit of cornstarch. Uh, after that, this is the main thing I'm going to use today, which is the prawn. I have about one, two, three, four, five, five or six prawns here. Now, when you uh, remove the shell at the head and the shell, do not throw it away. Okay, do not throw it away. Keep it in one bowl and then prepare a few pieces of ginger. Uh, go, we are going to make a little bit of uh, prawn broth and use the prawn broth to cook the noodle, which is very, very flavorful. Okay, and adding to the prawn broth, I'm going to use one whole cup, one whole bowl of chicken stock. Yeah, this is chicken stock. So, uh, and then I have some uh, one, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one tablespoon of chopped shallot or small red onion. And I happen to have some uh, pork lard, fried pork lard at home. So I'm going to put some pork lard. Uh, this is totally optional. Yep. And you want to put in some veggie. Uh, you can also slice it, uh, but because my, my daughter doesn't like to take veggies, so I have to make it a bit larger so that she can pick it up. We, oh, actually, she asked us to pick it up for her. <laughs> Alright, so I have some cabbage here. You can use any veggie you like. You can use tauge, also can. You can use Chinese cabbage, also can. Right, so of course, we will need some uh, dark soya sauce and light soya sauce, yeah? Alright, so first thing we are going to do is to make the uh, broth, yeah? If you get the broth right, then your noodles will turn out very nicely. Give it about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And we are going to uh, saute our ginger. Once the oil is hot enough, very hot actually, then we will put in the prawn shell. So we will come back shortly. Alright, this is after, after about a minute or two. Now we can put in the prawn shell here, but uh, be careful because of the, the water inside the prawn, it will actually splatter. Okay, but you want high heat, yeah? High heat. So let's saute and stir fry our prawn shell until it is fully become reddish in color. Make sure it is fully cooked. And um, if, you, if it's not fully cooked and you add in the water later, then your, your, your broth will become a bit smelly actually, yeah? So make sure this step, if you do it right, the, hot, the heat must be very high when you put it in, yeah? So do not throw away your prawn shell. It is a fantastic ingredient for you to make some very, very nice and flavorful broth, yeah? Appa always showing or uh, sharing with you all uh, the fact that I don't use, I don't use uh, MSG and I don't use any of those chicken powder. Uh, instead, I will make use of all the, the, the normal chicken, uh, homemade chicken broth or pork broth or now the prawn broth or vegetable broth to make our dish much nicer yeah so that's the trick and if you i always keep broth at home so in my freezer so if you have the, those broth or chicken stock 
uh, basically you can cut short your cooking process to within about 10 minutes for many dishes okay you can actually start seeing uh, my prawn has started to become a little bit char okay now we can actually put in some hot water why I put in hot water is because I don't want to reduce the temperature of my wok okay all right so probably about one full cup one full bowl sorry one small uh, one small bowl of uh, water here and bring this to a boil and let it boil for about uh, two three minutes then it is done you don't have to season your broth okay you don't have to season it all right this is after about two to three minutes boiling you can see the prawn broth is now very beautiful see we only started with uh, plain water so beautiful yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the shell they have done their part okay together with the ginger yeah Okay. I'm gonna off the fire. So I'm going to put my broth aside. Right. Look at my beautiful creamy prawn broth in a matter of less than five minutes. Beautiful. Right okay we can start cooking now two to three tablespoon of vegetable oil or you can use onion or garlic oil to enhance the flavor i forgot <laughs> all right then okay here's our garlic and shallot okay saute until the fragrant really come out probably you need about a minute or two we will come back shortly all right this is after about one and a half minute you can start seeing some garlic started to turn brownish this is the time where we can add in the next ingredient my uh, marinated pork Ooh, very fragrant and uh, half of my uh, pork lard veggie Chicken broth, prawn broth. Oh, this is going to be so good. So I'm going to uh, season this before I will add in the noodles. This way is actually easier to make sure the flavor is nicely absorbed by the noodles later. But okay, about a table and a half spoon, tablespoon of um, oyster sauce. About two tablespoon of light soy sauce, and this is I want to make this the black color, so dark soy sauce about three tablespoons at least so this is going to be a wet noodle yeah a little bit of uh, saucing wine right 
some salt some sugar okay some uh, fried shallot this is to enhance the flavor optional okay some fried shallot this is the homemade fried shallot all right we are pretty much flavored this broth ah nice then we can actually put in our prawns together with our noodles see the noodles is already broken hmm uh, the color doesn't seem to be black enough I'm going to add more dark soya sauce just to get the color out the right color that I wanted okay so really depends on your dark soya sauce and how much the broth is but I want this round to be black because my daughter prefer uh, black color noodles. Later, I'm just going to add one egg to thicken up the broth a little bit, yeah? It's, again, it's optional. I purposely made this uh, wet noodle, yeah? Let's bring this to a boil and then I'm... Um, I'm going to cover this with a lid probably for about a minute or less than a minute. Yeah, then we will come back. Let it simmer for one minute. Okay, you don't want to cook your yellow noodle for too long. If not, the um, the smell of the I don't know what is it, gam soy. Yeah, the gam soy may will start to come out. So you don't want to cook your yellow noodle for too long. Yeah. Okay, it's basically done very very fragrant just let me taste if the um, flavor is correct is it salty enough is it sweet enough mm. Mm. yeah let me add a little bit of light sauce okay yeah and uh, feels few uh, slashes of uh, white pepper and it's done oh I forgot my egg so I'm gonna beat an egg inside just to uh, thicken the broth a little bit okay the noodle is done I'm going to dish it out all right uh let me give some light okay so here's my um stir fry wet noodles i have some uh fried uh, this is the fried pork lard put on top all right hope you like this video if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking up on facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up on youtube channel thank you very much bye bye